How do you do it then? Right, here I've got two eggs, mm. OK, which are separated. Now, it's interesting, if, if the whites are at room temperature, they're a bit much nicer, they're much, much softer, and, they, and they're a softer end result. Out okay. the fridge, they're really tight and they don't take on... Okay. How do you separate your whites from your yolk? Right, so I'll show you, you put them in there, Phil, and I'll show you one that I'm going to do. There you go. Thank you. What I would normally do, as I little jar, is crack it here. And then you've got to break the inner skin as well. Yeah. A lot of people forget that. Yeah. And then I just open it up. OK, and then this half of the shell, I tip the yolk into there. And then like that. Keep get going. rid of that bit of there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And oh, it, you broke it. I've broken it. it. <laughs> I'm so glad so, you did that. So we, had a, we were doing right. some life hacks the yeah, other day. And, and, and this is a bit... This is risky in the extreme. Get through the second skin. But... Yeah. What we did... That's it, Phil. ...was... In now. Squeeze a bottle. Brilliant. Brilliant. There you go. So you just do yeah. that. And then... Make sure you get all the white off like, like that. that. Yeah. Oh, it's like a big... Oh. Jeez. There you go. Yeah. How's that? That's, so then right. I, That's very cool. And I'll put that to one side now. Yeah. Oh, look at it popping Right. Up. Yeah. i put that to one side. Then right, I come on to that. egg. But and come we'll on come to that. Right. OK. Brilliant. So here we go. Two egg whites. Here I've got a pinch of salt. Now, they don't add salt, but I do because otherwise oh, it's pretty tasteless. Yeah. I've got ground And this pepper. is not dissimilar to an egg white omelette, what's happening right now, No, exactly. It? Apart from you just baking it rather than yeah. frying it. Now, here's the thing. I use a bit of um, cream of tartar, always. Cream of tartar uh, stabilises the proteins in the egg, mm. so you get a soft meringue. Just sometimes you go to um, coffee shops and the cappuccino's too hot, and it's like, it's like bitty. Yeah. This keeps it really smooth. That's that lovely smoothness. So, okay. what I'm going to do is... And that comes out of the inside of wine barrels, It does. It does indeed. Yeah. yeah, they scrape it off the inside of wine barrels. It's a byproduct of the wine. It can be made chemically also. But see, now, the other thing to say over this is, of all the different flavourings we've got, and I've got, I'm using onions and smoked paprika and sesame seeds, that sort of thing. Yummy. But, primarily, if you do it with no salt and pepper, they that taste really tasteless. Yeah. It's what you add to nothing. it. So... You don't have to do this for very long, and I know we've, 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 So here you can see, because I've used the cream of tartar, it's very creamy. Yeah. You won't get that if you don't put that in. OK. So let's just take that to there. That's all you need to do. Right about a minute and a half. OK. And then just give that a quick a stir up, and then you blob this on. Oh, so they are quite stiff. Um, yes, they are. Firm peaks. Firm peaks, like that, and then you just... Again, You'll see, if you go too far, it just becomes too... The, and you don't want to smooth it over, because then no. you don't get that nice cloudy thing. No, but what you do is you make a little indent just there. Like a nest. That's right, because that's going to take... This is perfect for you, isn't it? ...the bit later. I, now, know, I mean, right if there then. was a unicorn jumping over I it, know, it'd be your ideal better. breakfast. There is in my mind. <laughs> there you go, see? <laughs> yeah. This one I'm going to put a little bit of chopped raw onion, mm. a little bit of paprika, smoked paprika, because that gives Pretty. it a nice flavour, a bit of chive, and a little bit of bacon, crispy bacon. Now, anything, <sighs> anything heavy will fall that's through. A, that's a busy cloud. Yeah, isn't it? Is. it? Yeah, it's an angry cloud. Now, Pop this goes in. into an oven at 230 degrees, or pretty much the hot as you can get it, mm. for around about three to four minutes. Oh, not long. No, no. And they'll come out like this one here. OK. OK. Aha. Uh -huh. See? So, 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 so at this point, this point, you can still move them, look. Mm. They'll, they'll come off the parchment. OK. OK, then you add the egg yolk back. Oh, Wait wow, for whoa, it. There, go on, Phil. Buster. Go on that one there. Go on, Phil. You go on that one. It's going to go. Boop. Keep going, keep going. Brilliant. Yes! Brilliant. So you do get a bit more white on there. And that one goes there. And the thing to say also is, <laughs> if you're not careful, um, the actual yolk doesn't actually cook. Oh. It's warm. It's like a fried egg. It won't go opaque like a fried egg. And how long are you whacking that back in now for? Back, back in the oven for around the two, one to two minutes. OK. OK, and they come out. Like this one here. I'll bring them over here. Oh, so they're look. quite... The yolks are a bit unusual yes. looking. Now... Here we have smoked salmon. Mm -hmm. uh, the good thing is you can lift them off. So if yeah. there's a bit of pumpernickel there, you want to put them underneath. You can actually eat them. There's a bit of what? Pumpernickel. <laughs> right there. Bread. So you can actually eat them as they are. Yeah. It's like a, you'd have a shock if you thought that I was like an that apricot that, Danish that one, pastry. That one looks like my idea. Do you know one. why? Why? Because that's a tomato. I was going to say so that looks it weird. It. It's a what? It's a tomato. It's a yellow tomato. No it's like, way. Yeah, it is, yeah. I was going to say that. I'm glad you said that. So that's the tomato, and here we've got the crispy bacon. Have a little taste. Oh, so you think? Old faker. Faker. Uh, yeah, you see? But what you've got to do first, oil it. If you don't oil it, you can see it's a tomato. That's cheeky. Uh -huh. I was Good joke, it though. A bit yeah, I'll say. OK. And you, uh, so, oh, see, the yolk is still running. Ah, look at that. Look at that. Now, here's the big test. This is massive. I'm slightly nervous about this, because I know you like Mr. Schofield. Well. That is acceptable it's not bad, is an it? egg. I can eat that as a white egg and done, it on its own. I think I've, it's really I've nice. I've also done a sugar-free meringue on the same process. 
and it, you, you wouldn't know. It's sugar free completely, and they're light as that. Right. Really? Avocado. What, the sweet stuff? I just ate the white of an egg. I mean, just don't yeah, but show them. I know, well done. <laughs> but Is that it's your not, first yeah. time? Yeah. Kind of I like, like the you blatant, blatant raw, naked white of an egg, yeah. It's really you said to nice. me before on air that if it didn't have sugar in it, you couldn't eat it. Well, I mean, that, a meringue yeah. I love. Yeah, yeah so, but, that, but that is very similar to meringue. <laughs> and you do get a little bit of oil. You do get a little bit. <laughs> I love it. It's now so... all I've got to do is to learn how to eat. <laughs>